What is going on, guys? Grave here today. I'd like to talk about race change tokens and why I kind of feel we didn't get any with Update 29. I know the community has really been vocal about this, wanting you know these race change tokens with Update 29. And of course, that update did come out today on PC. Comes out next week on console. And it's just been a really big talking point within the community. Before I get into all the details, be sure if you're not subscribed to the channel to hit the subscribe button. If you are a subscriber, make sure you have notifications turned on. If you enjoyed the video, I'd appreciate a like and check out everything down in the description, the community discord, my Twitter, and of course, the affiliate here on the channel, Empire Jerky. Their website, along with a 5% discount code you can use at checkout, is also linked in the description as well. Um, I think a lot of people were expecting, you know, with some of these racial passive changes, uh, with update 29 I, I think a lot of people just expected us to get some race change tokens um and i kind of can see both ways you know i can understand why the community is asking why we didn't get them i kind of can understand too why we didn't get them i'm not really concerned with it either way I, i'm not i don't really feel strongly i guess about it either way is what i'm trying to say but overall it would have been nice i guess uh, you know if you're wanting to change your character to be something like a you know, best in slot and meta kind of style. So we'll just look at the orc, for example. The orc did get a bit bit of a nerf. Uh, so a lot of people probably would like to change maybe their stam characters to a dark elf. Uh, the great thing about a dark elf is you can use it for stam or magic. So, you know, there's a lot of different options you can do there uh, when it comes to race change tokens. And I think a lot of people were expecting us to get them because the last time we got some pretty major uh, racial passive changes, and I think that was in Dragon Bones. I may be completely wrong, but it's been a long time ago. It's been a while. Uh, since we got those tokens when the really big update came out with a lot of different racial changes. And of course, we know we got three race change tokens. I think that was all we got. It may have been more, but it's been a while, so <laughs> I've slept a few nights since then. It's just, in my opinion, the update where they actually gave us you know, the, the race change tokens, there was a lot more changes going on there. There was a lot bigger changes, in my opinion, for the different you know races in-game. This one's a bit of a, a smaller, more of a, a kind of um, mini, I guess you would say, passive change uh, kind of idea. So I, the way I'm kind of looking at it, yes, it may not be, you may not have the perfect race, and I understand that some people are going to want to be, you know, that 1% or 2% better than, you know, the, the race that they have. Maybe that, you know, they're, you're chasing everything you can to get out the most DPS or whatever the case may be. So some people may want to change those. Uh, classes, Like I said, I can understand why the community wants it. I can understand why they're asking for it. And that was the kind of the point I made to begin with. I'm not really worried about it either way, but I do kind of wish that we would have got them just for the fans out there that, you know, really want to push everything they have, every character they have to the max. The other thing is I, I'm not sure if they ever really can continue to give us race change tokens. If you look at it, I mean, if, if you're like me and you played for a long time, you have 18 characters, you have 10 characters, you have 15 characters, whatever the case may be, three race change tokens are not really going to help a lot. Uh, if you're like myself, you have a lot of different mains. You know, I, yes, I do play on my Sork a lot, the very first character I ever created when I play PvE content, but I still play on a lot of other characters, tanks, healers, a lot of other DPS characters that I have made. At times, I can almost say that I have 18 mains when I'm playing with them off and on all the time, you know, um, swapping it out from day to day. So it, it is kind of frustrating, you know, in, in my opinion, not to have something that we could help out maybe with a couple of those characters. And then if you want to, you know, change the other ones, you know, you can go in and buy, uh, you know, stuff from the crown store, you know, to be able to buy or, you know, be able to buy, buy crowns to buy those uh, race change tokens from the crown store. It, it would have been helpful. But at the same time, like I said, I can kind of see why they didn't do it, because to me, it's not as as much of a major update as it was in the past with the, the racial changes that we've had, you know, over the last couple of years. So I'm kind of curious, do you guys really think that we should have got them? Are you disappointed that we didn't get them? Are you kind of like me? You're just, I guess, on the fence. You're like, well, I understand why we did or why we didn't, or I understand, you know, why everybody's upset that we didn't. Leave me a comment with your thoughts, and I'll catch you all next time. Peace.